In this tutorial, we'll investigate the behavior Scaled Translation. Scaled Translation enables dynamic movement of an element or group of elements linearly between two points referencing a defined scale. So to begin, we'll draw our scale a simple horizontal line. I'll select Grid Snap On, select Horizontal Line Draw, and I'll uh, draw it from the left-hand side of the layout over towards the right-hand side of the layout. I turn my grid snap on so my cursor moves freely across the layout. Highlight line in the tree view. Right click uh, and select group. Pushing the F2 button, I'll rename this group scale. The next element we'll draw will be what we'll use as a pointer that will translate across this scale. So again, I'll select vertical line draw. And I'll put this pointer right in the center of the scale. It can be positioned anywhere along this scale, but I'll just choose to put it here in the middle. I'll open it up by double clicking on the line, and I will change this color using the specify button to something with just a little bit of contrast against the scale line. I choose blue. With that done, again I'll right click on line and go to group, and group this into a group, pushing F2, I'll rename this pointer. This is where we'll put our behavior. This is so that in the future, if we want to add any other elements to the pointer with this behavior, we just put them inside this folder. So double-clicking on the pointer folder opens up the Edit Shape dialog box. I'll go to the Behaviors tab, Insert, and from the Type drop-down list, we'll choose Scale Translation. First thing we have to set is the plug. What is the variable that we will use to drive this pointer back and forth across this scale. Selecting this checkbox brings up the select variable dialog box. We'll add a variable. Let's just call it value. This can be any value. And notice that it is already a type float array length of one. It will be driving this pointer across the scale. Select OK. While we're on this dialog box, I'll copy it to the test data generator which we'll use shortly. OK. Click OK on that. The next thing we need to choose is what part of the scale do you want to start. So clicking the Start button, I will choose let the mouse dwell into the sticky point on the left hand side of the scale. And we'll click on that will be the start point. The end point will be the opposite end of our scale. Onto the sticky point there. The attach point is the point of the pointer that we want to reference the scale. So when I click attach point, it will be the, the bottom point of the scale of the pointer. The next two boxes to fill out are the start and the end value for our scaling. So I'm going to say, the just picking some numbers, the start value on the left hand side of the scale will be negative 50 and the end value will be 50. These can be anything that you choose. Um, for now, I'll also select the limit button. That means if the variable is, let's say, either less than 50 or greater than 50, the pointer will only go up to the end point of the scale, negative 50 or 50, and it won't proceed any farther. It won't proceed beyond the scale. So with all those boxes filled out, click on OK. I'll go ahead and run this. Open up my test data generator. Right click and paste my value variable. I'll go ahead and turn on my test data generator. Double click to open up the edit member dialog box. In the slew information from the drop down list, I'll choose bounce. And we'll just make this variable bounce between negative 50 and 50 with an increment of 0.5. And you'll see that that pointer now translates, referencing the scale across our scale.